Hi guys, Moon Titan here. Just recently, the fourth part of the 39th episode of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse was released, in which we were shown the continuation of the confrontation between Clockman from the future and the Commander, the long-awaited rescue of Drill Woman, and of course, the most important event, TV Woman Spoke. Okay, jokes aside, but the episode really turned out to be quite epic, meaningful, and long, so as always, first things first, but first subscribe to the channel, because more than 93% of viewers watch me without subscribing. And we finally begin. The episode begins with Clockman from the future, hiding behind a shield, flying out of the room in which the third part of this episode ended. The commander stands in front of him, but a yellow spider web flies next to him, after which the same strider lands where Mail 07 just was, in which Clockman from the future first appeared in the 15th episode slamming his front paws into the ground, from which spikes began to appear in the direction of the commander, and he was distracted by them, which gave Strider the opportunity to release webs at the commander, which pinned him against the wall. Strider stepped over and tightened the cocoon of sorts, but this was not a big obstacle for Mail 07, and he successfully got out and destroyed the Strider. Clockman from Future says, Do I really have to try this? And restores Strider. But we won't know the continuation of this battle today, and a little later I will even tell you when, in the meantime, we are finally returned to the battle of the special agents with the G-Mutants and Billy with William. Speaker Woman jumps on one G-Mutant, then cuts off the other's leg below the knee, and then helps Camera Woman blind the last G-Mutant. Meanwhile, Billy pushes Plunger Man and Dark Speaker Man away from him with one blow, but the first gives him a turnip with Plunger and the other with knives, while Camera Woman flies up and sets up on Billy a bomb. Then we are transferred to William, who in the first part of the 37th episode was prevented by the Black Drill Man from finishing off Clock Woman and decided not to waste time by starting to dig again. But seeing that William was approaching, he began to turn his hand drill and how he began to fry William with a laser, into which later a dagger flew from the assassin, who wants to take revenge. The assassin jumps on William, who plunges him into a nightmare, and they continue to fight in the special agent's van from the 31st episode, accompanied by Drillman Titan in the background. The assassin dodges a powerful blow from William, which he used to bend the back of the van, but unfortunately he could not dodge the next blow, and for some reason, trains began to appear around him. Perhaps this is a reference to some movie, or think about it. When else have we seen trains in Skibidi Toilet Multiverse? That's right, in the 31st episode, the van from which was already here. And this train almost ran over Speaker Woman, and since this is a nightmare for the assassin, it becomes clear that he deeply appreciates his comrades. Or he feels something more than anxiety for Speaker Woman. Drill Assassin draws his sword and parries William's air attack, severing his arm. And after that, the fateful moment of the duel took place. The drill assassin shoved William's head into one of the trains, which turned out to be the electric panel for the drill woman's cage. The last G-Mutant fries TV woman with lasers from his eyes, but camera woman flies into him at speed, after which he is distracted by her, and Billy, regaining consciousness, is about to stop TV woman from saving drill woman, but she flies up, blinding him with a white glow for a couple of seconds, which is enough to fly up to Drill Woman and finally teleport her down. But, you know, I don't think this is the best place to teleport. I mean, it would make more sense to teleport her somewhere far away, like my game Toilet Run. Who does not know this game, where you have to run away from the evil skibbity policeman so that he did not bite you? At first glance looks easy, but it's not quite so. Except for the policemen in the game, there are different bosses, which sometimes appear and start a hard attack. In general, be sure to try to play, because now is the best time to do it, because we lowered the price of all agents by 20%. And besides that, there is a promotion with Free Secret Agent, which you can still get. I'll leave the link to the game in the description, and we'll continue. After making sure that everything was fine, Black Drill Man continued the excavation, and Clock Woman patched up Plunger Man. Billy wanted to attack them again, but seeing what happened to his friend William, he tells the special agents, in particular the Drill Assassin, Get away from him! Billy won't let his friends die! 
Then Billy is revealed that despite the fact that he looks like an ordinary dumb jock, he sincerely worries about his comrades, even for William, who, let's be honest, is the most unempathetic among all of them. But he has no strength left to fight, falls to his knees, after which William says, Damn you all! You should never have existed! You killers of the innocent! For those who forgot, or did not watch the analysis of the additional scenes of the ninth season, I will remind you that C Pen that night killed William's son, the boy in red, and here he is referring to Bethany, the commander's daughter, who is also considered dead. To these words, TV Woman says, Innocent? This is war. We've lost an entire race. And the assassin took this as a pretext for war, to which William says that this is the expected answer from the artificial intelligence, and rhetorically asks them if they think that participating in the war gives them the right to kill children. From this, even the black drill man crawled out of the hole, it should be admitted, since it is already half his height, he digs very quickly, but he still decided to continue, taking William's words for the ravings of a madman. TV woman says, What? What are you talking about? We never killed children. Suddenly, a strange sound comes from the drill assassin, and it turns out that it comes from the same pen that C-Pen handed him in the 28th episode. Turning it on, C-Pen's voice is heard, telling the special agents not to listen to William as he is lying and just wasting time to distract them, in response to which Drill Man has scolded him something, most likely that why not listen to him, he will not be able to do anything anyway. But C. Penn suddenly said, I won't even try anyway, after which the connection is cut and the pen begins to make a sound like a bomb detonation, it flies up and creates some kind of pencil man effects, which Clockwoman successfully stops. The drill assassin takes out a Rubik's Cube and everyone teleports, after which the effect of Clockwoman disappears and the room begins to collapse. And it would seem that the end has come for them, and William tells Billy to save himself, because everything is over for him, but Billy refuses, saying that he will stay with his friend. And then, there is a plot twist that includes, if not leads, the trio of the most unexpected plot twists in the history of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse. Time stops, but not in the way the clockmen do, because the mutants have retained their colors, and it is clear that the environment is slightly distorted. Suddenly, footsteps were heard, and now anyone could be expected. Male 09, Skibidi the scientist, or even the master of Alpha, but no. Because finally, after 25 episodes of silence, the one I have been talking about for a long time appeared on the screen. The head of the elite agents, the secret agent of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse, Mr. Dom. This is the end of the episode. What will happen next? First of all, the 39th episode is not over yet, as it will have a fifth part, in which, according to Dom Studio, the best part was left. The confrontation between the commander and clockman from the future. And if you think that he has no chance against someone who, according to his own words, cannot be defeated, then you are mistaken. Because from the description in this episode, it was said that the future clockman is holding back, so this battle promises to be grandiose, and I don't even know who to bet on in it. But the fact remains that clockman from the future is now playing for time for alarm clockman to defuse the bombs and clockman titan to act. As for Black Drill and the special agents, they will probably teleport to help Big TV Man in order to increase the chances of defeating the squad that came to Susie's aid. C-Pen has almost openly betrayed the Alliance, but unfortunately for him, the special agents now know that something is wrong with him, and there are two options. They will have time to warn the Alliance, and a fight with Sea Titan will begin, or they are just the opposite. Due to the battle with Skibidi Squad, they will not have time to warn their comrades and Sea Titan will strike first. I won't talk about the continuation of the story with Mr. Dom at all, since literally anything can happen there. But if you want to learn more about him, then I recommend you watch a video with an analysis of elite agents. I'm sure you will like it. In any case, what will happen next, we will find out only with the release of new episodes. So subscribe YouTube channel too if you want to continue to see the analysis just as quickly. And that's all. Good luck. Bye-bye, everyone.